Hello everyone, I am Susie. I am Lucy. Today we will take you to the Kit Castle. There are many good stories and lots of fun toys in the Kit Castle. Let's go together. Hurry! Hi my friends, today I am going to read those books for you. And now let's get started. Mr. Potter and Tabby. Paint the porch. Mr. Putty, Putter, and Tabby paint the porch. What happened? Do you know? I don't know what happened. The porch. Why the porch? It was springtime, and Mr. Putter and his blind cat Tabby were feeling very chipper. The birds sang, the sun shone, the flowers bloomed. Mr. Potter and Tabby went out, out on the front porch with a book. Let me read you a funny story, Mr. Potter said to Tabby. Tabby purred. She liked funny stories. She curled up beside Mr. Potter and waited and waited and waited. But Mr. Potter was not looking at the book. He was looking at the porch post. Hmm, said Mr. Potter. Do you know what happened in the story? Do you know what happened in the story? I don't know what happened. He picked up this. He picked up Tabby and looked more closely. Hmm, he said again. Yeah, Mr. Potter walked, walked, he walked all around the porch, looking and see. Hmm. Finally, he said, "Tabby, this porch needs some paint. First, I'm going to paint the porch. Then, I'm going to read the story." Tabby purred. She loves Mr. Potter's plans, especially when they include her. She followed him to the basement, swishing her tail. Happy it was green. Scat, too. Scat! Mr. Potter carried his painting things to the porch. He had a bucket of pink paint, a big brush, and some rags. Look at the details carefully. Do you know what happened next? Yeah. Do you know what happened? The funny thing. I don't know. Suddenly, one of the suddenly one of the rags got away. Tabby chased it across the porch, porch, and caught it. Good cat. Said Mr. Potter, patting on her head. Tabby purred. She might be old, but she still could catch a wild rat when she had to. Do you know what happened next? Mr. Potter dipped he dipped his brush into the bucket and began to paint. As he painted, he began to sing. He sang about paper roses and blue bonnets and coming round mountains. Tabby purred and purred. This was even better than a story. Tab, Mr. Potter didn't yell, yell the word. He read the story. All, all was going when suddenly a squirrel showed up. The squirrel jumped onto a freshly painted porch. Ship. Porch wheel. Shoo! said Mr. Potter. Do you know what happened? Funny. Happened is funny. Funny thing. The squirrel jumped onto another wheel. Scat! said Mr. Potter. Then the squirrel ran across the floor of the porch. And that's when Tabby remembered how good she was. She was at chasing things. Yikes! yelled Mr. Potter. Do you know what happened next? Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you some questions after reading. No, you should not ask me. You should ask yourself or ask your parents. 
the squirrel ran and happy ran. And before it was all over, Mr. Puddle sports and just sort of paint itself. Mr. Putter's porch just sort of paint itself, right? Free, very pink. The next day, Mr. Putter's porch was very pink. The walls were pink, the floors were pink, and even a few of the windows were pink. Look. I see, they are all pink color. <laughs> yes, I know. And Tabby was very pink. Mm. Look at Tabby here. I saw him. Saw it, yes. In Mr. Potter's neighborhood, Mrs. T-Berry walked over with her good sock. Dog sick. Oh dear, she said, looking at Mr. Potter's porch. Zeke was sniffing Tabby's pink whiskers. Mr. Potter's sign. I have to do it all over again, he said. Well, then, we'll help, said Mrs. T-Berry, rolling up her sleeves. So Mr. Potter went back to the basement. Tally followed, swishing her pink tail. Soon Mr. Potter and Mrs. T-Berry were putting blue paint over pink. And all was going well. Until suddenly a chick monk showed up. It jumped on the rail. It ran across the porch. And then Zeke remembered how good he was at chasing chipmunks. For a lovely yellow. The next day, Tabby and Zeke stayed inside Mrs. Mrs. Chibiri's house. House. While Mr. Putter painted his porch again, he covered up all the pink paw prints and all the blue paw prints and made the porch a lovely yellow. When the porch was dry, Mrs. T-Berry arrived with Tabby and Zeke. Mr. Putter was happy to have Tabby back. He bought a story bought a book out of the porch and say he would read a funny story to everyone. But just then, as Mr. Puddle was about to begin, a pink squirrel and a blue chipmunk walked by. And so Mr. Puddle and Mrs. T-Berry laughed so hard they didn't need a funny story. Okay, so now I'm going to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Why do they laugh so hard? Why? What did happen when, when Mrs. Potter painted the porch pink? Yeah, everything was pink. The windows, the cat. And what happened pink. next? Then they painted it into yellow color. Is that right? No. What's happened? Then they paint into blue bonnet blue. Blue. Okay. Then what happened next? Paint to do the yellow color? No. And then a blue chipmunk who room walk past by. <laughs> How about you ask me a question? When did they paint paint it as a yellow color? What happened? At last. They painted Mrs. Tiberi took Tabby and Zeke into his house. Her house. Mm -hmm. Here. Mm -hmm. Great. We finish our books. I'll see you next time. Bye. <coughs>so that's all for today. If you have nice toys or fun toys, remember to write to Susie and Lucy. We will share it with every kid in the first place. If you like our channel, remember to click on the subscription below. Susie and Lucy are waiting for you.